Okay, let's connect Google Sheets and GitHub. Uh, you'll see how easy you can do it. First, you go to my uh, GitHub repo and uh, you see this URL. Just go to this URL. I also copy it below the video and hit press make a copy. And here go, you got a sheet with a code inside. When you see this GitHub on menu, it means it, it's already done. And the purpose of this sheet is connect to your GitHub, pull data to your GitHub repo, and then push data from Google Sheets to your repo, back to your repo file. And let's see how it works. I've got my uh, repo file, my files, and got some test folder inside it uh, tests slash sheets and my thumb, thumb my text file there and uh, I'll go ahead and go to my new github connect I'll need to authorize the script when I run it first time okay it's not a problem let's go to my advanced and save and allow the script to run then go again to github connect and I'm prompted to, to this window I need to generate generate uh, my key okay I'll go to this URL to generate my new key my token new token and click on the repo to allow all my repos to go and then name it test delete okay and generate token the token is on screen hit this to copy click copy and I'll need this token here and I also want my username here but it is optional and I want to enter my username from this github URL to ensure I have no spelling mistakes and click on submit button. Now my token was made and I've got this file and I, I want to make a copy. Let's make a copy. Duplicate this sheet. Duplicate it. Okay. And uh, what I want here is uh, to to watch what is inside my about txt file, I'll copy it here about txt. Uh, my files is my repo name from my URL. Okay, let's see my files. It is here and it's already set for me because it's my file and my username is here. I may leave it blank because I've set it in the connection. Okay. And I want also these two folders, tests and sheets. And copy it just before my file name to, uh, to make it work tests sheets slash about txt. And I want to see what's inside. Pull to connect. Uh, pull sheet. Oh, okay, it's done. It's already done for me. And all, all that are here comes from Google Sheets and let's see, let's go to my about txt. All data here comes from Google Sheets. It just was uh, pulled to my Google Sheet and okay, let's then push data, uh, data from uh, Sheets uh, and I'll change something. Say hello, hello world, it's okay. And I'll do vice versa operation. I'll do push code and that's it the code is done and uh, let's go back to my file and uh, nothing here yet but let's refresh the page and you see hello world was added to my file and uh, that's uh, not everything I've done so far uh, and you see a uh, file uh, with the CSV extension and it's it also must work. Let's add more columns and more rows for this test. 
and uh, let's also copy uh, this but of course I don't want it to be uh, txt I want it to be my test dot csv and uh, you see how beautiful it must be let's do push to github um, file uh, text csv is not in my wrapper do you want to create new file yes of course yes I want to create new file and it's done okay let's see let's go to my sheets and I'll see this text CSV created from uh, my Google Sheets for me. And let's test it. Okay, I have a row data, row data here. Let's go to my row, oh, sorry, row data is here. Yes. And I'll copy this URL and go ahead and create new sheet and use import data. Import, import data with this URL of this CSV file. Hit enter and okay. That's all. Uh, I, I've got my uh, beautiful table just from GitHub. And this mean this means I can uh, make any samples, uh, dummy data sets and share it with my friends and my colleagues and so on. And uh, they may open it with just this one single formula import data. It's, uh, so beautiful i think and okay what we've done so far uh, and uh, let's see uh, what you can do with this first of all you've got your copy of this sheet with all the code inside tools script editor second you can uh, pull pull data from your github repo files into your google sheets and next, of course, you can push data to your GitHub. And bonus, you can also push files with CSV extension. And bonus number two, you can also create your own files on the go. When you just create CSV.2 file and go to GitHub, push, and you see this notification. Oh! Do you want to create? Yes, I do. Uh, okay. And that's it. Let's go back and uh, check if everything is okay. And file t test uh, 2csv was created. And that's it. Thank you.